pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Let's take a look at this next illustration. The beliefs and meanings level. Now we see the important thing here is, is when you have a relationship, which is your beliefs and meanings, between a physical representation and the real form, energy form, or in this case with the radio it's the real tuning place, then when you move one, so it says here, if you physically adjust the tuning knob and dial, you automatically adjust the real tuner to the same corresponding position. But then, if you adjust the real tuner, you automatically adjust the tuning knob and dial to the same corresponding position. One is the real place, one is the representation. But they're tied. They have an association, they have a relationship based on beliefs and meanings. When one is in one place, the other is in the same corresponding place. When the other is moved to a different place, then the representation is moved to the corresponding place. They're tied together by the relationship, by the beliefs and meanings. There's an understanding there, and the understanding within the radio's way form is strings and pulleys. That is the understanding. The strings and pulleys are the relationship. They are the definition of how these two parts will interact. If that string is different, then the relationship is different. Okay, here it says, the beliefs and meanings level establishes the relationships between the real power and force in the energy realm and the corresponding physical representation, if any. It is the relationship link. So beliefs and meanings are relationships between real power, the real force, the real energy, real happenings, what's really going on, and the representation that you interact with, that you are, frankly. Okay, let's move on. So, if you physically adjust the tuning knob and dial, you automatically adjust the real tuner to the same corresponding position. And, if you adjust the real tuner, you automatically adjust the tuning knob and dial to the same corresponding position. This is because of the beliefs and meanings that have created this relationship between them. This is the system, or how it works. If anything had changed in the beliefs and meanings level, or the system, then the relationship between the real tuner and the represented tuner would have changed. An example. You could string the tuner representation to the volume switch so that when you move the tuning dial, you actually change the volume of the radio. Or, you could string the real tuner to the volume switch, and when you went to change the volume, you would be changing the radio stations instead. That is what the beliefs and meanings level is all about. It establishes the relationship between some physical aspect and the corresponding real function in the energy realm. Everything in your entire existence has these relationships to the non-physical energy realm and the nature of these relationships is based on your meanings. Okay, let's look at this next illustration. Here it says, let's have a look at a few of these relationships that you use quite often. Okay. Now here it says, in the blue ovals are the real Thing. That's the real energy. That's the real power. That's where it's really going on. Okay? 
Now, the yellow oval is the beliefs and meaning. That's the relationship. That's, that's the link. That's, that's what decides how they're going to be related, how they're going to operate with one another. And then in the green oval, as we've come to, to use as our illustrations, is the physical representation. So here we start out with thinking. Thinking is represented in a brain, as it's easier. We've got a relationship between thinking functions, the real thinking functions, and the physical representation of those thinking functions is the brain. Okay. Now, seeing, seeing the real function of seeing has a relationship, by beliefs and meanings, to the eyeball, to the eye. So the eye is the physical representation of the real seeing function. Touching, once again, touching has a relationship to your skin, to feeling, to fingers. That's the relationship. There's between when you put your finger in a certain place, you're going to experience touching in that place. There's a relationship there. Beliefs and meanings. Hearing, same thing. Relationship with your ear. Smelling, relationship with your nose. Tasting, relationship with your mouth. There's a link there. There's an understanding. There's a connection. And the beliefs and meanings, in the beliefs and meanings level or layer, that defines the relationship between the real function and the represented function. Now we also have the radio. Once again, the real tuning place is the capacitor, the variable capacitor. And it has a relationship which in this case is defined by strings and pulleys that have certain sizes and certain diameters with the tuning dial, which is the physical representation. There's a relationship between those. Okay, let's continue. Here it says, the blue ovals are the real energy forms where these sensations are really felt and experienced. The green ovals are the physical representations for these different senses. The yellow ovals are the relationships. The beliefs and meanings between them are the normal arrangements that you were born with and that most people subscribe to. When you have a seeing function in your energy form, the blue oval, that is linked to your eyes by your beliefs and meanings, then when you open your eyes, the beliefs and meanings dictate and facilitate that you will see something with them. That would be the quote-unquote normal arrangement and meanings. So here we have an illustration again. You have seeing, and there's beliefs and meanings, which is the relationship, with the physical representation, which is the eye. You open your eye, the relationship says, the beliefs and meanings says, that you see something, and sure enough, you do. Okay. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 10, Segment Number 61. Let your quest for knowing continue.